The summer season is easy breezy water wave season. So stay tuned and watch as I install this gorgeous water wave you part wig from Asteria Hair. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's summertime, so you know what that means. It's water wave season. Water wave is one of my favorite hair textures, and I have it in a U-part wig from Asteria Hair. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut off that little piece they like to put in the front on U-part wigs. And I'm going to uh, just put the wig on. I like that this U seems like it's pretty, it's pretty narrow. It's not completely, like, it's not a V-part wig by any means, but it's on the it's on the narrower side like it's not it doesn't involve as much leave out as some u parts can involve so as i was adjusting the u i did realize i went a little too narrow because the combs would not sit right with the leave out that i had out so i just went ahead and fixed it by taking out the braid just on this side so i could have a little bit more hair out so that the u part clips would sit comfortably on my head you want to make sure that the clips are sitting comfortably on your head and not causing a lot of tension because you can you know put a lot of stress on your hair and potentially cause a bald spot if you're not paying attention to how it feels if it hurts change it up position it to where it does not hurt so anyways i'm brushing the hair out now and i'm going for big hair with this because you know my hair is not a water wave texture so i need to make sure that the top where my leave out is matches up with um the wig i also took my hot comb to the roots so that way when i do blend my leave out in it will blend better because it's a little bit straighter i didn't want to go through the whole thing obviously because i want to keep the texture of the hair but you know i'm always trying to make sure that it's going to blend properly I took my hot comb also to my own roots and through my own hair. Some people might look at that and think, why is that necessary? But it's necessary when uh, you got new growth and you're trying to blend your hair with a texture that doesn't totally match up with your hair texture. I was about, I want to say 12 weeks post relaxer when I did this video. And um, I'm tech slacks, by the way, if you don't know, now you know. But I was about 12 weeks out, so I had a lot of new growth. And uh, I needed to take a hot comb to my roots. That's why you see me do that a lot when it comes to leave out is because that's how I get my, uh, you know, roots and edges to lay straight. And listen, I said it before and I'm going to say it again. Make sure these combs are positioned correctly and not hurting you. You don't want to cause excess tension to the hair and potentially damage your hair over time. Obviously, one use isn't going to kill you. But you, if you're wearing it often, which I would think you are, if you're going to invest in, you know, in a human hair unit, you, know, you want to make sure that you're not damaging your real hair in the process. So I'm also taking a wax stick through uh, the top of my head again to help me lay down the hair and blend it into the wig. I'm a huge fan of wax sticks when it comes to blending leave out with, you know, weaves, wigs, anything where it's involving your leave out. I love using a wax stick to blend it because it keeps the hair straight because it's not a wet product, but it weighs the hair down into blending in with the uh, fake hair. tried to wave the leave out in the front and it did work but it didn't stay so i mean you could try that if you want to or actually get like a crimper if you wanted to and that would make this also a way to blend and then i also went through and you know me i'm gonna add some layers but i feel like layers are very important when you're blending with leave out because you want to transition your real hair into the wig like seamlessly make it look like it's supposed to be that way and then I also put a scarf on to help me lay down the top real nice and flat. And then I added some mousse into the rest of the hair so it could define the curls a little bit. But I didn't want to get it wet. I didn't get it wet first. Just use the mousse because I didn't want to lose a lot of volume. Because like I said before, I'm trying to make sure it stays big hair. And this is how it came out. It flows really nicely. Oh my gosh, this hair is so pretty. It's nice and voluminous. As you can see, perfect vacation hair. And great for my girls who don't want to bother with lace. That is my favorite thing about U-parts, V-part wigs, all that stuff. It's because it doesn't involve lace, but it doesn't involve a lot of hair out either. It's super manageable and low maintenance. I'm just in love. If you're interested, all the details will be down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye. You know, you're the first time.